If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Saturday Legends. We got the two players, of course, same format as always. We got the two Legends, and then, of course, the LTD um, Legends. Now, these legends obviously aren't skill positions this week. They're not. They're not banger legends. They're great for your team, like two players that you more than likely should have. But they're not going to be like Vic and Dion, of course. Like, can the impact be similar? It's tough to say when it comes to Vic and Dion, but they're going to be great for your team. Now, guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out. All you got to do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course turn on that noti bell. Now, for today's shout out, we have Madman. Shout out to Madman for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Nice to see him back on the channel after having a little issue not being able to comment. Thank you so much for being a part of the squad. And guys, you know the deal. And if you guys need coins to pick up any of these legends, like Kevin Mawai and me and Joe Green are great plays. If you need the coins, you already buy the plays, you can directly buy them on Mutt Reserves. Go down below to the link in my description. Click on it, you can buy the legends directly on there, or the coins for it, or the training. Whatever you guys need, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Take advantage of crazy discount of coins right now. Well, let's head on over to the sets, check out everything. Make sure you're playing your legend solos out, by the way, guys. Remember, if you want your free legend, which is this set right over here, you have to be getting your tokens done. Now, I haven't put any in yet. I, I usually just hold on to them. Make sure that you are playing those and getting those done. You don't want to miss out on your free boss legend when the time does come. So here we go. Kevin Mawai and Mean Joe Green. And for all you guys know, Mean Joe Green's been around since the, the beginning of Madden. Since the beginning of Madden Ultimate Team, Madden 13, Madden 12. He's always been around. Uh, kind of a, a familiar face for me. And Kevin Mawai as well. He hasn't been around in every single one. But he's been around for most of them. Now, of course, Kevin Mawai is a center. Mean Joe Green's a defensive tackle. Now let's head over to the store, see, if it's, see, what, see what the packs are looking like, we'll probably have Legend Fantasy now. Don't expect them to be anywhere near as good as they were last week, of course. Last week's Fantasy Pack Bundle was an anomaly, it was a brand new series, uh, prices are super high, so we have super high uh, prices with super boosted odds with a new series, and just I'm telling you, it was a perfect storm, it won't happen again. If I pulled the, I got two, two over two million coins in my last pack opening. If I pull the exact same stuff again this week, with the way the market looks, I probably make like 700k. I do not make anywhere near as much. I'm telling you guys, make sure. If you're gonna, I, I wouldn't do packs. That's all I'm saying. I would definitely opt out of the packs and go ahead and pick up the coins. Now, in terms of these legends, guys, let's go check out their stats. Let's go see what they're looking like. Let's go check out if they're worth. It. I mean, I know they're gonna be worth it. I know these guys. They always have a similar skill set. But let's check them out. Of course, to the LTD one, see the card art. I'm always interested to see all that. So let's see. Are they up? Are they... All right. So the base 91 Kevin Mawai is up on the block. Now this is not the LTD. Of course, it's just the regular one. So let's see. He's got 89 strength, 91 awareness, 89 pass block, 87 pass block power, 90 pass block finesse, 91 run block, 90 run block, and 91 run block finesse. So he, he's a goon, guys. If you power up and chem him up, he's going to end up with all 90 stats besides pass block power, which will maybe fall short just barely if you chem him up as well. So he's going to be, he's going to be one of the, he's going to be the best center. The thing with the center this well round is that the center is going to dictate a lot of inside runs with the guards. He's going to be able to help in the pass protection as well. He's having a well rounded center is so integral to my line for me. I mean, if anything, I, I usually focus on run blocking more, but if I have the chance, I'm going for the balance one. We got Kevin Mawai, who's very balanced, all 90 thresholds. He's going to be a leader on that line. I highly recommend you pick him up. Of course, let his price come down just a little bit first because obviously he just got posted, so you know he's going to come down. Let's see if the LTD is up, and then nope. So let's go check out, of course, the other one, which is Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green sometimes gets weird stats. He's either really good or really average. It really depends on what Madden we're in. Um, like I said, because he's usually not. He's usually like he's moderately good at everything. So his first card may not be the most dominant, but we'll find out right now. And then for defensive tackle, let's see. Well, Mean Joe Green is not yet. LTD Mean Joe Green is up. So let's check out him. LTD Mean Joe Green. I wish the card art was showing, but it'll show up soon. 75 speed. That's what I imagined. 84 excel. So that's good. 92 strength. 90 tackle, 89 play rec, 82, 92 block shit, 92 power move, and 76 finesse move. So, take it back. The card's amazing. Uh, of course, chemmed up because this card cannot be powered up. You are going to get his play rec above a 90 if you put lockdown on him. I'd probably put lockdown on him to get that play rec up anyways just because the block shit and the power move are already above threshold. He's going to be the top run stopper, top run stuffer, and top pass rushing combo probably at defensive tackle in the game. So, he's definitely worth a pickup. Now, a lot of people may not opt for using defensive tackle at all, and that's okay, but... He's really good. He can both pass rush and run stuff. So you don't have to worry like on a third and long, like, ooh, do I take out a definite pass rusher? No, me Joe Green can get the job done. Or on a third and short, do I take out for, you know, what people have to always alternate? No, me Joe Green gets the job done. So I think you're fine just holding on to me Joe Green as a one, 
a one guy show in the middle now again you pick up the regular one or the lt doesn't really matter guys at the end of the day you can pick up the base one and power it up or you can pick up this one it doesn't necessarily matter i'm surprised mean joe green the regular still isn't up let's, let's check out the ltd for kevin mawai as well now do i recommend kevin mawai as an ltd either? no i mean honestly for me it comes down to the price range so for vic Vic LTD was only like 100k. I mean, Dion was LTD was only like 100k more than his base. So I was like, I'll just pick up the LTD then. I get to have the LTD one, no power up, no training. Now that's not always the case. I mean, if there's a big discrepancy in price, go the lower one powered up, especially with the price of training. So this one, of course, this one is just is, this one's the powered up version essentially. So now all you gotta do is put the chems on him. You can skip all the training and everything. So again, if the, you have to always do the math. So let's say the base one goes for 500k, right? And the LTD goes for 800k. The cause of the powering up the base one. With the price of training right now only cost you 100k so it costs you 600k versus the ltd which is gonna cost you 900k let's just say 800k good deal now let's say the price is this ltd 600k and the regular one's 550 and the price training is higher so on top of there only being a 50k difference the price training is also like 150k to do it so now you're losing money when you could just buy the ltd those are the cases where you want to be focusing on who to pick up there that's kind of always the issue i'm having there now i want to show you guys the regular one and of course the card art but it doesn't seem to be up yet and the card that's being super laggy right now. Let's go check out, see if the right. I don't know how the Mean Joe Green is not yet, but I see the LTDs on there. Unless people aren't even posting them, they're just keeping them, which is kind of weird. But the Dion and Vic, that's a really cheap price for Dion, I think. No? Oh, yes, it is. That's an 100k snipe. I am really annoyed that I don't have coins right now. I am missing that by 30k. That's upsetting. But, anyways, moving on from that, which is. Oh, it's still there. Jeez. Um, so, here, here's a good example. These cards were 470k, or well, at least Vic was, going into 500k range. They were super cheap. Now, do I think Mean Joe Green and Kevin Mawai will be that cheap right away? Probably not. The thing with them is going to be that this was dropped during a week where the price of packs and everything was just such a weird week that these were automatically, these, these flooded the market. These were the most banger ones too, which is kind of weird. So don't expect any legends to really be this cheap day one as these were, but I do think Kevin Mawai and Mean Joe Green will come down from the week. So if you want to pick them up, of course you can. Now, in terms of ranking, who is my number one, who's my number two, I think... Mm, I think I'm going, oh, this is tough. I guess because defense, I'm going to go with Mean Joe Green first and then Kevin Mawai, although I think both are almost on 1A, 1B. I don't see one or the other being better. I think it's like both play a weird position that not many people covet as much, but I still think you want both. And again, like I said, we don't know the price range just yet because as of right now, these are super expensive. And so the other ones, I will go check them out, of course. See you guys the price. But I do think at the moment, it's going to come down to when you decide to buy and what the market's looking like at that exact moment. Let's go see if we can find him a Y. All right. Oh, wow. Lawrence Taylor, super cheap, too, guys. Take advantage of that. But let's see. All right. This is why there's still no Mean Joe Green, which I find super, super weird. But that's about it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Come join the family, boys. And as well for the Poodle Squad shout out. Again, shout out to Mad Man. Thanks so much for showing support. If you guys want to shout it out, you guys know the deal. Like, comment Poodle Squad, and turn on the noting bell. And of course, be subscribed as well. And that's about it. If you guys need coins for any of these legends, Kevin Mawai and Mean Joe Green, make sure to just go down below to my reserve. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. You guys already know the spiel with that as well. One last chance for Mean Joe Green. Is he like, is the regular one not in packs? I find this so hard to believe that this is what the market's looking like right now. There's no possible way, right? One, one, one last look. All right. Well, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I should be posting one more video, probably a market video going over the legends after this one, so stay tuned for that. But that's about it. No, please.